Before I start, I just, Max, I want to say to you again, thank you so much for what you said. And I had the honor of speaking to Max before we got here, and he told me some of his stories. And for me, it's just so inspiring that you're able to come up here and captivate people and give so much of your knowledge and your inspiration. I mean, I wanted to take a cab here, and he said, no, we're walking. So we walked here in the cold with our heels, but you're so full of life and so amazing, and so thank you. I just want to thank you. So the song that we're going to sing is called What Will Become of All the Memories, and it basically talks about what will happen when we don't have the privilege of listening to survivors and hearing their stories from, from their own eyes and from their own experiences. And so um, I, I'm an alumni from the 2012 March of the Living, and for me it was such an inspiring and awakening experience. But the greatest thing for me was being able to experience it with the survivors, and to hear their stories, and to see them, and to experience it with them. And um, something that was very touching for me was seeing Sydney Zoltak, who was one of our survivors, with his granddaughter um, going through the different camps and being in Poland and seeing the love that he had for his granddaughter and the pride that she had for him was so amazing because we saw them together in a place where there was so much hatred and sadness, but then we saw growth and life and opportunity with the two of them together. And so I think for me that showed that through the evil, good will still come out, and there is always light at the end of the tunnel, and so that was amazing for me, and the March of the Living is a trip that will always stay with me, and it truly changed my life, so thank you. Tired old and 